हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एस बी इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन फॉर गेट एंड पी इन माय लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट रेक्टेंगुलर सिग्नल एंड ट्रायंगुलर सिग्नल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर अबाउट सिग्नल सिग्नल आई विल डिफाइन सिग्नल सिग्नल देन आई विल डेवलप द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन सिग्नल सिग्नल एंड यूनिट स्टेप सिग्नल now let me discuss what is basically a signal 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 this is signal signal having the notation as gn in instead of mentioning the entire word you are taking only three letters from this word a g and n and you are denoting signal signal in this manner as gn which is a function of time so just like your impulse you are representing by del by del this is the notation which is used for impulse similarly for step you are using the notation q similarly for ram you are using the notation small r similarly for unit parabolic or parabolic you are using the notation small p similarly for rectangular you are using the notation r e c t rectangular or you are using this symbol for rectangular similarly for triangular you are using this symbol so anyway for signal you are using sgn to denote this signal signal that means whenever you are finding sgn that means you can understand that understand, understand that yes this is a signal signal now see what is this signal signal how to define this signal signal it has a definition you have to know the definition which signal is known as signal signal this particular draw what i have drawn here this is one this is your minus one S G N T. This signal is known as signal signal. This is your minus one signal signal. So from this you can understand that yes, after zero the signal value is one. Before zero the signal value is minus one. At zero there is a discontinuity which is from minus one to plus one. So why it is from minus one to plus one, not from one to minus one? Because I have told whenever there is a signal. You have to assign the direction over the signal by thinking that you are coming from minus infinity time and you are going towards plus infinity time over the signal. That means you are coming from minus infinity time in this way over the signal. Then you are rising from minus one to plus one over the signal. Then you are moving towards a plus infinity over the signal in this manner. So therefore, you can say that yes, the signal is from minus one to one at t equal to zero. That means you are having a discontinuity. r t is equal to 0 now how to define mathematical this signal signal you can define mathematical this signal in that in this manner s g n t is equal to 1 when it is one t greater than 0 that means 0 onwards 0 onwards towards right of 0 time t is equal to 0 towards right this value is 1 so you can say this is your t greater than 0 the value is 1 is equal to minus 1 This value minus one when t less than zero. So you may write t less than zero. The value is minus one. Now what is the value at exactly t equal to zero? At t equal to zero, I have told there is a discontinuity. So therefore, you have to write the average value minus one plus one by two, which will come zero. So this is the value at t equal to zero. So this is the definition of signal signal. This is the definition of signal signal. Now let us develop a relationship. Between this signal signal and unit state signal. Once you know the relationship, it will be very easy for finding the Fourier transform of unit state signal. So this topic I will discuss whenever I will cover the topic of Fourier transform. So if you want to find out the Fourier transform of unit state signal, it will be very easy if you know the relationship between unit state signal and signal signal. If you don't know this relationship, then it will it will be very difficult for finding the uh, Fourier transform of this uh, unit state signal anyway so that is the topic what i will cover later so here let us draw unit state signal this particular signal is known as unit state signal i have already discussed this signal in my previous video so here after zero after t is equal to zero its value is 1 before t is equal to its value is zero after t is equal to zero the value is there is a sudden rise or there is a discontinuity so if there is a discontinuity you have to take the average value at t equal to 
Knowing this, how to define mathematically u t is equal to 1 for t greater than 0 is equal to 0 for t less than 0. When t less than 0, its value is 0. When t greater than 0, its value is 1. And is equal to obviously 0 plus 1 by 2 because there is a certain range or discontinuity. If there is a discontinuity, then you have to take the average value I have told. So this value is 1 by 2 at t is equal to 0. So this is the definition of unity state signal. See, this definition is for signal signal. This definition is for unity state signal. Looking through these definitions, you can establish a relationship between signal signal and step signal. See how I am establishing the relationship between this signal signal and step signal. Let us take a function which is a constant function. Let us consider this constant which is 1. Suppose I want to plot xt is equal to 1. So xt is equal to 1 means this is for all t even plot. xt is equal to 1 for all t. So which will be the plot? The plot is this. This is your xt, xt, xt is equal to 1. That is for every time this value is 1. This time the value 1, this time the value 1, this time value 1, this time value 1, this time value 1, and 0 also value 1. So this is a constant function with respect to time, it is constant. Now, just below this, I am plotting the signal signal. Signal signal. This is your sg and t. I have already defined this signal signal. 0 onwards is value 1, before 0 is value is minus 1, at 0 you can find the average value which is minus 1 plus 1 by 2 that is 0. Anyway, if you want to add these two signals and plot, if you want to add these two signals and you want to plot it, then what type of plot you will find? See here. After addition, which signal you will find and how to plot this signal? 0 onwards, that is after 0, its value is 1. After 0, its value is also 1. If you add, after 0, 1 plus 1 is 2. That means after 0, its value is 2. This is a 2. Before 0, its value is 1. Before 0, its value is minus 1. 1 minus 1. That is actually 1 plus minus 1. You are adding this to signal 1 plus minus 1. Which is 1 minus 1? Which is equal to 0? That means before 0, you find 0. See here. After 0, 2. Before 0, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. Now, whatever the signal drawn here, you have already acquainted with this signal. I have already discussed in my previous videos. This signal is known as step signal having height 2. How to represent this signal? 2 ut. Now, see what you have got. Very interesting. This signal plus this signal is equal to this signal. That means you may write that is 2 ut is equal to this signal. This signal is 1. 1 plus. This is value of signum t. Signum t. Which implies ut is equal to half into 1 plus signum t. This is a very important relationship between unit state signal and signum signal. So, this is the way in which I have established the relationship between state signal and signum signal. In my next video, I will discuss about rest of the standard signals, that means exponential signal, sinusoidal signal, sampling signal, sync signal, etc. etc. So thank you very much. Please subscribe my channel. Please like my videos so that it will be motivate me more to make more and more videos. Again, please share it so that the concept what I have covering that will reach to the needy students. Thank you very much.